We are now joined by UFC middleweight Sean Strickland. Sean, thank you very much for joining us today. Man, this is a really odd situation we're doing, but uh, thank you. I feel like I'm we'll in a casting uh, call or something. <laughs> we'll take our first question from uh, Jay Anderson with Cape Side Press. Our line is open. Hey, Sean. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate the time. Um, you're getting a real quick turnaround here, obviously. Definitely making up for uh, some lost time. So just tell me from your side how this fight came about. Man, I was actually vacationing in, uh, in Tennessee, not wearing a mask the entire time, too. Kind of freaked me out, but I guess I'm on COVID. So I was on vacation in Tennessee, just going hiking. And then um, I literally land in LAX, not wearing a mask. I land in LAX, and uh, Mick calls me and was like, hey, you know, do you want to fight? And I was like, man, I'm like, I've been eating barbecue for a week. I don't really think I can make weight. He's like, oh, we'll give you a catch weight. And, and then I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to. But then I thought about a big stack of money. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let's do it. So the fight came about because my love of money, yeah, that's kind of how the fight came about. <laughs> Would I like Fair enough. Sure, why not? <laughs> Appreciate the honesty, man. Um, obviously, not a time, a lot of time to prepare here. So, what is the approach? Have you just focused on yourself? Do you just, you know, study any type you can get, or how do you go about it? You know, it's actually funny. There's a guy named Corey Hendricks. He was on the Ultimate Fighter. He he fought Luke Barnett, and I mean, just ran through him. But he's like six three. He's a two hundred five. Or he's actually been my main. I don't even know. I don't know where I should be looking, but he's actually right there. I'm like looking down. So he's actually been my main training partner for the Jack Marshman fight. And everyone's like, man, why are you training with a guy who's six three, who all he really wants to do is grapple. And like, I was like, cause I'm not, I'm not training for this fight. I'm training for the next fight. And so it's ironically that I got an opponent who mimicked my, my main training partner. And obviously being at a catch weight, how close to your normal fighting weight are you going to be this Saturday? Oh man, I mean, I could have made the weight. I'm like, I'm two oh, I'm two oh three right now. Like, if I wanted to, I could have made eighty five. But it was just like, it was one of those things where I just didn't want to deal with the ad anxiety. He just made weight. I just made weight. Like, what? Now coming back uh, for the Marchman fight, um, you know, there was a lot of focus on that one because of the accident and you being away for so long uh, since that Moncton card, and then uh, your performance in the fight, not only great but also being so vocal in it. It really kind of stood out. Do you think that helped boost your profile a little? I mean, man, like at this stage in my fight, dude, I just want some wars. Like at the end of the day, like I don't really care about winning. I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to lose, but like I just want to go in there and have a slugfest, you know? Like I want to be like come back with my shield or leave without, you know, just I just want wars. Like I don't care about winning, don't care about losing. I just want to go in there and have some wars. So I, I think that um I think that mindset is gonna is gonna be good for me and the UFC. And last one for me, I mean, just talk a little about your opponent here, Brendan Allen. Obviously, he was supposed to fight a week ago, didn't. Do you think he's one of those guys who can give you a war? Oh, man, I don't even think Brendan's that good. I just think he's tough as shit. Like, he's, uh, you watch him fight. So I don't know. You watch him fight, and the guy just eats shots and keeps coming forward. You know, I think his biggest attribute is, like, the fact that he is so durable and tough. So it's like, you don't beat, you don't beat this man by sticking and moving, like, like you only you only come out with a w by a war with this guy so i think it has the potential of being one of the best fights on the card uh, unless he wants to fucking do takedowns and be a little pansy about it but you know he, he's been working a lot of kickboxing so i'm sure he's gonna want to kickbox for a while so yeah it's gonna be a fucking war i'm excited all right thanks very much looking forward to it welcome back sure. we'll go next to mike bond with yeah. usa today your line is open Hey, Sean, you said after the fight with Jack, and you kind of just reiterated a bit there that, you know, you weren't really focused too much on climbing the rankings or picking fights or this, that, and the other thing. After all the time off, you just really wanted to get in there and, like you said, have wars and give exciting fights. Was that a large part of the motivation, getting back in there, not really caring too much about the well, outside circumstances and just stepping up for the moment and the stack of money? My, my management said, hey, Sean, wouldn't you like to fight again? I'm like, And I said, oh, January would be cool. And then it was like, well, how about a week? <laughs> Honestly, man, like I've been training since I was like 14, 15, every day of my life. I've been training like nonstop. Fight now, fight in two months. It don't matter. Like I'm at, I'm at my peak performance. He's at his peak performance. And yeah, I do a stack of money. Like if there's no money, I wouldn't be doing this. Like <laughs> I'd be fighting him in the streets, you know? But, but uh, yeah, the stack of money is, is, is the, big, uh, the big factor.
is there any aspect of it too and just kind of challenging yourself i mean we just talked to paul felder who's stepping into the main event on five days notice and he said part of his motivation is you know testing himself and taking that big challenge is that something that excites you here too nah man i don't care dude i just want to go in and have a slug fest through the challenge like it don't it don't mean anything to me like it's just mma it don't mean anything i've been doing this for so long like, I'm not going to, like, hype it up and say mentally it's about this. Like, I just want to bang, dude. I just want to go on there and have a good fight, have a good war, get some fans to like me, and then that's it. I don't care about the, the notice, the rank. I don't give a fuck. Respect to that, man. All right, appreciate it. Sure. We'll take our final questions from Patrick Prokolski with TVP Sport. Uh, your line is open. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't uh, unraise my hand after Paul Felder uh, questions. So uh, I wasn't even prepared for that. Uh, I'm really sorry for that. Yeah, shit, no worries, man. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Sean. You're all set. I appreciate that. Thank you.